We back with another video, baby! <sighs> I think we got one that's upset today. One that's angry. One that has her panties in a bunch. You know you mad when you get dressed and you put on the lace front and you tint them eyebrows and you put on them spider lashes. Whoosh! All that gooey stuff, all let it dry up and let it settle and put a whole outfit on to complain. You gotta ask yourself at that point in life, who hurt you? Who hurt you? Who hurt you? Who hurt you? Why are you acting in this manner? Let's get into it. So serious question, right? Why is it that the new generation of men want to be pursued? Like they want women to chase after them and And hold on now. I'm going to let this play out. I'm not going to cut her off. I'm going to play it out. All right? I don't want y'all yell at me. But just let the freaking video. Here we go. In order for them to feel like a woman is worthy of them chasing her or pursuing her or going out their way to make her feel special. Like, when was it a thing for a man to automatically feel like he's the prize? Like, is it a money thing? Is it like... Mm, I don't like that. Like, y'all very sassy. Like, y'all want to be women so bad. And I'm not bashing all men. All men don't act like that. So don't come in my comments trying to feel crazy. But I just really want to know. Like, this has been on my mind so heavy lately. Like, men really want you to pursue them and to do the utmost to prove that you really want to mess with them. Or you really want to, you interested or what? Ew. Where's your balls? Sweetie. She seemed highly upset, huh? Highly upset. The first thing I would tell y'all, when you don't approach women, when you don't give someone the attention they want, these days, not all of them, but most of them going, they're going to call you, they're going to say you broke, just say that. Uh, they're going to call you uh, gay, and uh, which I really don't understand because we all supposed to be equal, rights, treat everybody fairly, LGBTQ community, love, rainbows, love is love. Everybody's supposed to be getting love. So why call somebody gay like it's an insult? It'd be mind boggling to me. Like you gotta pick a side. Are we for it or equal and showing love? Are we for it or not? I'm for it. Why are you hitting me with that? Like that's an insult. What's wrong with gay folks? I'm confused. Pick a side, man. I will also say to that young lady right there, I say this all the time. There are probably plenty men in your DMs that want to talk to you, that want your attention, that want to take you out, that want to chill. The problem is you want to sit up here and act like you're not attracted to those guys until you start to fall off. Let's just be honest. You know what I mean? Then, then you're like, oh, you, you go to that guy and be like, oh, I always liked you. I always thought you was cute. Stop lying. You was chasing the, the guys that was in the fraternity. You was chasing the athletes. You was chasing the scammers. You was chasing the drug dealers. You was chasing the older men. Now, after they done ran through you, now you want to sit up here and be mad that men don't want to pursue you. Men are like, I'm good on you. You don't think men get tired? Tired? I just said that there's many of your DMs that want to talk to you. Some of y'all don't ever think like that the men that you want don't want you. A lot of women, they don't like to just be honest about it. A lot of them are fighting over the the 1% or the 5% or the 10%. There just aren't enough men. Do you ever sit back and think that I want a man that's in the top 10% of men, over six foot, making over six figures, uh, hung. Y'all want all of that. You're talking about five, three percent of men and we want all of that put together. I want the package. Y'all done had so many past partners, you just wish you could put together some of your past partners. I done been with 30 dudes, I'm in 40 dudes. If I could just have him because he funny and then him because he got the money and him, y'all want to build a dude. You can't do that. Do y'all ever think that the men that you want just don't want you? Just think about that. Men are men understand that. Men, men can clearly see like Dang, she looks good, but you know what I mean? She out of my league. I can get myself together, get my bag together, get my personality together, get my face together, get my whatever, whatever together, and then I can maybe, you know what I'm saying, get there and be there, but we're honest with, with ourselves. We're not delusional. We can clearly see and be like, damn, she out of my league. Every once in a while, fellas, it'll happen. You'll be like, you'll, you'll get with a girl, or go on a date with a girl, a girl like you, be like, damn, I can't believe, like, you know what I mean? She, she, this is normally out of my league. Like, we got a little connection going on. It'll happen, but. We know the vibe, but women just don't be knowing the vibe. They can just be looking any kind of way and feel that they deserve top tier. 
I'm coming in here bottom tier. I'm, I'm coming in here looking like a five or a six, you know what I'm saying, without makeup. Waking up in the morning, fresh face. But I, I think I deserve a nine to 10, man. I, I do. Why? Because my dad never let my mom pay for anything. So that's what I deserve. Go date your daddy. Go talk to your daddy. Keep it all in house. Y'all ever think that after a man gets turned down, like, you know what I mean? Some women go out and get dressed just to turn down, man. They know they got a man. Hey, we gonna go to the single club. I got a man. I'm just out here to party with my girls. I just wanna be with my girls. You know what I mean? They go out, you know what I mean? Stroke that ego, turn down a couple guys. After fellas get turned down, turned down, turned down, they just, they don't care. Like, what's the point of this? What's the point of this? Like, I'm, I'm good on that. Why approach you? Why pursue you? There's 10 other guys trying to pursue you. Oh, well, you gotta apply pressure. Why? I'd rather go make some money. I'd rather play video games than apply pressure to a girl that's got 10 other dudes applying pressure to. What do you think this is, a March Madness tournament? I'm good on that. No, I'm not, I'm not no damn, I'm, I'm not trying to be a gladiator to potentially have the opportunity to talk to you. That's dumb. So therefore, most men these days, they know the game. Y'all put it all on social media, telling on yourselves. They know it's BS. They know they're getting strung along. A woman got a guy they really like. They got two or three options just in case this one mess up. They got another five in the friend zone chilling. And then this is the thing. You'll say all of this and then be like, they won't even agree. They'll still flip it and be like, well, who hurt you? Bro, just common sense. Who, who wants to waste their life minutes? Who wants to waste their life, man? I'm telling, I'm, tell, I'm putting these guys on. Don't do it. And, and the tables will turn. It'll spin around. They'll get older. The body will fall off a little bit. Drop a couple kids. Come a baby mom. Not all. It's something. Just look at the percentage. It's out there. Just look at the statistics. All you got to do, fellas. Grind. Work hard. Get your money together. Take care of your body. And most of the time, you're going to end out on top of this thing, man. You're not, I'm not saying you even got to go out there and make six figures, make a bunch of money. Bro, you can go be a firefighter. Depending on where you live at, I live in Florida. Firefighters start off at 70 grand. 72, dollars $73,000 a year. You work one day, you get two days off. You can get a whole nother gig going. You can become a firefighter at 18, 21. One, one of the, you can get that money going even if you don't want to go to school. I would advise you to go to school. I would advise everybody to go to college. I'm going to put that out there. Even if it's not for you, go to the damn college and see for yourself if it's not for you. Enjoy that experience. Enjoy being on campus. Enjoy living life. Enjoy homecoming week. All that phenomenal stuff. But I'm just telling you, why bother with this? And then with just dating and how things are, even dating apps. You know what I'm saying? Some women just jump on dating apps for validation and just be like, oh, look at all these guys I match with. Yeah, I'm never going to meet any of them. We're just going to be pen pals via the internet. Men see that. Men understand that now. It's become such a cat and mouse game. It's disgusting. It is a race to see who cares the least. But it always takes a turn. Especially, fellas, if you finally get to, to home plate and you handle your business, she will go from, I'm busy, I don't have the time, I'm sorry I'm a bad texter, to hitting you all the time, to wanting to draw at your spot, to wanting to spend a night or every night, to, hey, man, what the hell? Didn't you have a bunch of friends and all these jobs and you were super busy? How did you just get not busy anymore? How did this happen? It'll happen just like that. And I tell y'all this all the time. I do the same thing. Do not chase anybody. Do not have anybody chase you. I, I would not say, oh, make her pursue you. Make her pursue you. No, I would not say that. If y'all not pursuing each other, if the feeling isn't mutual, then what in the hell is going on? If y'all not running at each other full speed to have a, a collision of greatness, what are you doing? Ain't no applying pressure, ain't no chasing you. Show me you want me, a guy should do this, guy should do that. No, no, do you not Do you not like me back? Do you not like me back? Why, why am I just the one texting you, texting you, calling you, calling you, setting up, setting up, setting up, setting up? No, I call you, you call me. I text you, you text me. I set up a date, you set up a date. What are we doing? And they gonna call you sassy. They gonna call you sassy, fellas. You know why, you know why they gonna call you sassy? Because you know your self-worth. You know you are worth something. You know what you bring to the table. You know you are a king as well. They're going to be like, oh, I'm a queen. I'm the prize. Hey, newsflash, we're both prizes. Newsflash, why, why do you think you're just the prize? Ask them first. Be like, do you think men are the prize? They're going to be like, nah. Be like, do you think women are the prize? Yeah. Why do you think solely women are the prize? Just say that. But if a guy has self-worth, he's on his purpose, he has his ish together, he has his mind straight, and he's thinking with his mind and this head and not the other head and his focus, now you sassy, fam. You feminine, fam. You sassy and you a sassy fam. You a femi sass. And the part that hurts me the most about all this, it goes back to what everyone has been fighting for for so long. Equality. It's here. It is here. 
You want equality, it's here. So why do I have to pursue you? We should be pursuing each other. This is what our grandparents, our parents, everybody didn't fought for. It ain't perfect, but it, it's, it's getting better. It, and as it gets better, now you mad that it's here. You know what it is? When I watch videos like this from women, it, it seems like women like like that, like, like they hate men. Like, like she doesn't like men. If you don't like men, just go date women. Seems like you like women. How that sound? Let me know what y'all think about this video in the comment section. See y'all below. Y'all know I'm be responding to some of y'all. Appreciate y'all rocking with me. Smash the like button. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Public interviews just dropped. They popping up at the end of this as well. And I'm gonna hit y'all on the next one.